and you are a pious person, you are a highly respected person because you have been armed. He is the law. I tell you honestly, nobody is sincere in Pakistan to frame the law to apprehend the corrupt people. I give you an example of a last president. He was he was called 10% and 90% and he faced the charges. You know how many times he applied to this board? 200 medical certificates. And he didn't appear. Then, then what happened? Who did to, uh, to uh, announce the, the, the verdict against him? There are so many things we know, we don't want to disclose it. I tell you it's a highly corrupt society and I tell you there is not going to be a reform until this. I told you there is going to be a civil war. Again okay, I repeat it. And you know, around him, with so many concerns, he talks and he never comes to the parliament. So even if it's a rubber uh, 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 it's like parliament, there are so many people actually to ask him the questions. But he never comes in, in the parliament. And now the last uh, you know, speech we delivered, do you think was it worthwhile for the waste of time, energy, electricity and everything? He didn't convince the people. Now this, uh, I agree with, uh, with the honorable uh, judge that nothing will happen you know, from these uh, paramilies or money will be uh, being lost there. So, still I say that I repose my trust in the youth. They should come out. Uh, unfortunately, think, unfortunately, in the country of 200 million people, less than 1 million people are paying taxes and we cannot blame everything just on Nawaz Sharif. Do they protect the society? Do they protect the society, the individual? They are not responsible to give them jobs, the health, the education. What is the response of the government? I take up the question from here. See, the, actually there are responsibility within our qualities for everyone, over everybody. But when it comes from the top, it spreads very easily and at a very larger background. So we, we believe that the government should be very careful and uh, everywhere in the world democratic governments are accountable and accountability has not come without transparency. So we expect the government and its officials, even the opposition, which are a shadow government, to stay alert and at the same time not only alert, transparent, and consider themselves accountable as well. And each individual or a citizen in, a, in our country is accountable as well. Whether we are accountable to ourselves on moral grounds, we are accountable to the government, taxation and excise and everything included. As a citizen of Pakistan, each one of us is accountable. Just pointing out one and considering yourself or myself outside that accountability is absolutely wrong. Tend to be honourable. Then you say, how is it to be done? I gave you a solution. You see, I personally believe that uh, if you make good laws without any loopholes, then they work. There may be a problem initially. Uh, when you make the laws, they may not be effective. But then a time comes when they work. And if you have no laws at all, nothing will ever work. Make laws. And I suggested to you that this was an opportunity when the parliament could make laws which would be effective without leaving any room.